Hello everyone, my name is Kumson and welcome to FNAF Weekly News. As always, I do every Saturday that covers this week's FNAF News. So we don't got a lot this week, but we do got some stuff. So let's just cover it decently fast. Off with the mulch, we got a new Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit short and beanie from Hot Topic. So if you like Into the Pit, there's a new t-shirt. Uh, I don't know why it's Into the Pit for the t-shirt because it's just Freddy's face. Normally it would be like, you know, Pit Bonnie. But the beanie is Pit Bonnie, so I suggest getting the beanie in my opinion. But pretty cool stuff. Uh, I wish I had a Hot Topic near me, but mine closed down, so... Might have to order those online, but we also got some other mods of Spencer's releasing Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy's Fast Belly Con Candy. So if you get a Spencer's, don't bring your kids to Spencer's. But if you get a Spencer's, you can now get some con candy with Freddy Fast Bell on it. So I wish it was at Walmart. I don't know why they picked Spencer's of all places. Cause that place is not really the safest place for children. If you know, you know. So uh, there's some con candy now you can get. So that's awesome. And the final Morts news is an in-person look at the Five Nights at Freddy's soundtrack on CD and vinyl. So the, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie OST like is gonna be in a sound if you can buy it as a CD and a vinyl. Uh, there's some cool images I'm gonna show you here. One of them is just all like the covers like there's Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Fox, you know the main cast. Um, some inside looks of the vinyl version of it because it it has like Freddy and Chica on it. Then we got the back of the like the OST of what songs are playing in it. Like you can just look at all the songs there. And we get to see the C D and the cover inside of it. And there's a thank you note from the people that made the music, which is awesome. And there's a picture of Mike on the Fall White. So yeah, it's it's a pretty cool thing. If you like the soundtrack from the Five Nights of Freddy's movie, I suggest picking it up. But that was all for the Morts news. I told you we did not have a lot of news this week, but we are, let's go into the book news. So the, they updated the cover for Five Nights at Freddy's Return of the Pit, released on December 24th, 2024. So the new cover changed the, the yellow rabbit's eye color to blue and various template alterations. So before it used to be blue, but now, well, now it's blue. It looks kind of dumb, not gonna lie. I've, I've seen people talk about this and how it looks kind of goofy, and I'm like, I, I can't blame them. It looks kind of weird looking. They also made him a little bit wider with the yellow on his like bingles and stuff like that. So, what do you guys think about this change? Tell me in the comments below. I kind of like the yellow eyes way more, but uh, he doesn't have yellow eyes if you play the game. So, I, I understand the change, but it looks kind of goofy with the eyes. So, maybe they should do some touch up on the eyes one more time and it should be fine. And off with the game news to the Five Nights at Freddy's level and fun confusion will receive online co op in November. And the game's available now. What's Here's something I think. This game is very old. I'm surprised it's taking a long time to give each level co-op. This should have been in the works when the game was being developed, but I guess they're doing it after, which makes kind of no sense. It's it's very strange in my opinion, because you would think something like this would automatically be in the game when it fully came out, but no, they're like making these weird updates for online co-op, which is, is going to kill the game in the long run. So, very weird thing to do, but... November, the Freddy Fazbear level is going to have online co-op. So if you like the game, if you like the Five Nights at Freddy's level, they can play with your friends on November. So that's awesome to hear if you're interested in that. And finally, with the movie news, the Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's will return to theaters on October 30th for the Blumfest 2024, exclusively at AMC Theaters. So if you like the Five Nights at Freddy's movie and want to see it in theaters again, you can go this October 30th for the Blumhouse 2024. You can also watch the other movies to do an entire thing throughout the month of October. So if you like any uh, Blum, uh, Blumhouse's movies, you can now go to the theater or AMC and watch those. But most people probably like the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I know I do. It's my favorite movie from them. But you can watch it in the theaters again. So that's awesome. And finally, with the biggest news of this week, Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is reportedly in very early development. So Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is being worked on. Maybe the script, probably the script because uh, Scott needs to go through that and stuff like that, and maybe some animatronic ideas. I'm very curious on what the third movie is going to be. Is it just going to be just like Five Nights at Freddy's 3 because it's such a different game? How's the Phantoms going to work because they aren't really animatronic, so kind of like Ghost, but we just got to wait and see. Maybe Spring Trap's going to look super cool. we got to wait like probably like three years for this movie to come out though, which I'm not complaining, but... I hope it's very awesome, but that was all the news for this week. I know it wasn't a lot of news, but sometimes you have the slow weeks and you can't expect much sometimes. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I do this every Saturday, so if you like the fan news of me covering it, I will always cover it. But I will see you guys next time.